We're here in Washington, D.C. for the first ever Lyft Pitch Event. Eight finalists who are Lyft drivers in the D.C., Maryland, and Virginia areas will be pitching their business ideas in front of a panel of judges, and the winners will be walking away with over $30,000 in prizes. According to Lyft, almost 20% of drivers work with the company to fuel their own business ideas. The Rideshare Guy blog and this very YouTube channel were created and nurtured by being a Lyft driver in the early days of the gig economy by Harry Campbell. So I'm really excited to see what these drivers have in store for us today. So let's go check out the Lyft pitch. My name is Sheldon Love and I'm the founder and CEO of Stuck. So Stuck is a mobile app that provides instant roadside assistance for people who are stuck on the side of the road. Because I'm a full-time student, mm -hmm. I don't really have the best schedule, so Lyft has been awesome. Yeah. You know, just working when I can, yes. um, paying the bills. I feel like the biggest impact Lyft has had is Yes, the income and the time freedom, but really because I am a talker and I love talking to the passengers, yeah. um, I make them feel really comfortable. So they've given me a lot of insight and feedback into my company. So driving for Lyft has actually helped me a lot because I've had the ability to actually connect directly to my target market while in the car. Of course, it's free exposure when I tell them about CityScope and what it is and how they can use it. My business is Assault Forward and we make military pride and patriotic gifts for veterans and all Americans. It gives veterans an opportunity to share the story of their service. And, oh, you're, you're a veteran? I didn't know you were a veteran, you know? So it starts that conversation and gives an opportunity for veterans to, you know, have pride in their military service and connect with the community around them. Older Many Kids is a children's literacy brand for parents who want to raise Brazilian kids. So we have bilingual books and they promote culture, uh, cultural competence. They um, highlight equity and inclusion values and the books help um, kids build their social and emotional skills. So Truck It is a mobile app that provides you with the truck on demand to move your furniture or any large items and also has a platform for businesses and individuals to buy and sell their furniture or large items to the local community. How do you feel going into the fish tonight? I feel good, relaxed. Um, I do this every day, all day, so yeah. I just feel like it's another day, but I'm pitching it to the right people. My name is Allison Elizabeth Brown. My business is Gene Extreme International, where we believe some things are extremely necessary. But I think what Lyft really did was get me out of my comfort zone and make yeah. me really comfortable interfacing with absolutely anyone. My name is Ricky Organic, and I'm the mad scientist behind Second Life Waste Solutions. I drive Lyft 3 in the morning to about 7.30, and then I work at my farm. So it's given me the flexibility to be disciplined about earning money and self-fund all these business ideas. won a couple and saw what the money and connections and mentorship and press can do uh, for a really early stage entrepreneur. So this is um, sort of a first uh, iteration yeah. of, of what it looks like to shine a light on a group of entrepreneurs that maybe aren't always seen and maybe don't always have the stage. which is a huge celebration of our driver community's entrepreneurial spirit. We promote their businesses, and we use augmented reality to generate traffic to that location so when tourists visit, they can continue their experience with the local businesses nearby. But I have a solution. Let's divert and repurpose 75% of that garbage and using a three-stage process, give that garbage a second life. With this data, we will be able to create metrics that translate these emotions into actual characteristics like level-headedness, time management, and problem-solving skills. Want to sell your old couch? Truck it. Want to get that new table from your local furniture store? Truck it. Need to get your trash to the dump? Truck it. We have a strategic vision for how we can teach kids to be bold, kind, and resilient while addressing these important issues 
one book at a time, one story at a time. So our value proposition is convenience, safety, and reliability. We want to target millennials. Once they take off their uniform, they're more camouflaged than ever. With Assault Forward, we can help change that. I'm not new to this. All I need now to make the dream a reality is a better clicker. <laughs> and a generous financial lift. The judges have left and they're going to deliberate on who's going to get uh, the first place prize of $15,000 and the second place prize of $10,000. Um, the entire audience is uh, voting right now on who's going to get the third place prize of $5,000. A couple things that I think make really great entrepreneurs. One is they have a clear customer problem and evidence that there really is a customer problem there that they're trying to solve. And then passion and perseverance to go solve it. The crowd favorites. So this actually comes from all of you. And the winner is... Drum roll. And everybody together say it. It's Truck It! Truck It won third place. And for second place, we chose uh, an idea uh, and, and a business that, that we really think has the potential to have a huge impact on this world. Uh, and so without further ado, I want to congratulate Ricky Organic for Second Life. Ricky Organic. Ricky Organic wins second place, $10,000. So without further ado, Joe Hippelman, congrats on the second Joe Hippelman. Good job. You got it. Joe Hippelman, $15,000. Wins first place prize for Assault Forward. You got $15,000 for Assault Forward. What are you going to do with it? Well, we're going to use this money to help meet more of our fellow veterans. Uh, when we connect with them, they understand our mission, our purpose, and what we're doing. And uh, we think that if we attend more military conferences and events as a vendor, and also through social media and digital advertising, uh, we'll achieve that connectivity with other veterans, and our message will spread and grow. And a round of applause for all of our participants. Thank you so much. Be ready, because Lyft is considering bringing this on the road outside of the DC area. If you have a pitch, leave it in the comments section below. Let us know. And until next time, I'm Christian with the Rideshare Guy. Keep your eyes on the road, your hands on the wheel, and your wheels on the ground.